Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello everyone, welcome. I'm working with a new art medium in this video. I have Jane Davenport Storytime Paint Pens here. These are acrylic pens and I've never used acrylic on any of my artwork or any of my cards, so I was eager to play with these. Spellbinders has a fun promotion going on. You can get these pens for free with a purchase of $75 or more. Or if you just want to purchase them outright, they're $39.99. They have a felt nib. You have to press it down a few times to get the paint flowing. The swatch card came with the pens. And they have cute names. They're all from Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland. This first color is called Mad Hatter, and you get a thicker pen and a thinner pen. The second one is called Pool of Tears. I love this teal color. I think this one is my favorite. This blue color is called Alice Blue. Next is Cheshire Cat. It's such a pretty purple. And then the last one, of course, is the Queen of Hearts. I didn't know what to expect with these pens, but I was very surprised at how smooth they go down. You just have to make sure you get the paint flowing through them first. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of doodling for my first card. I have some craft card stock, and I'm just putting down the ink. These are great for layering. They're very opaque, so you can go right over the top of your first layer. And I'm just having fun doodling on this paper. I want to put down a lot of color because I'm going to use some Spellbinders cutting dies. These are from a previous kit, and I just love these. I use these a lot. And I'm going to cut out my crafts cardstock with these dies, just using little pieces of washi tape. These pens also come in black and white, and I think I'm going to have to pick those up because these were really fun to play with. And they're great for even just adding little details to your cards, as you'll see later. And here are my die cuts. I just love the look of those leaves. The green and the blue together is just so cute. And now I can do the next layer to these flowers. They have pretty details that you can cut out. And I'm just going to use a little bit more washi tape to tape those in place. So I did a lot of doodling off camera. I wanted to make up a bunch of flowers for my card. And I just love how they turned out. They're so much fun. I'm using a Spellbinders hemstitch die to cut out another piece of craft cardstock. I use this die a lot. It just puts cute little details around the edge of your paper. I'm also going to cut out an octagon using another Spellbinders die. And now we can start putting this card together. I'm attaching the pink paper onto my craft card stock with some dot liner. I really love the look of this layer on my card. This was just a fun piece to use. And you can still see the brown card stock around the edges. I'm pulling out a Jane Davenport stamp set. This stamp set is called Horse Hug. And I'm going to use the sentiment that says sending hugs. I'm going to ink it up with some Versify and Onyx Black ink. I'm using my anti-static powder first because I am going to emboss my sentiment. And I'll stamp it up. I like to ink it up twice so that I can get a lot of ink on the paper. And now I can pull my panel out of the Mini Misty and pour on the clear embossing powder. I'm very careful when I heat emboss because I don't like my paper warping at all. So I'll put it on the paper for just a few seconds and then take it off again. Just go really slow with that process. Now I can attach this panel onto a teal card base. I thought this teal cardstock went really well with the Pool of Tears pen. It's going to be a little bit bigger than my card base, so you can see it around the edges. 
And now I can start adding all of my leaves and flowers down. I'm going to put the leaves down first and I'm just going to glue everything down flat. However, I am going to pop up the centers of these flowers with a little foam square. The second layer of these dies cuts out a lot of fun details in these flowers. I'm just putting little dabs of glue behind them, but it will be enough to keep them on the card tight. And I just love the fun, almost confetti look of these flowers. And now for the centers, I'll pop those up with foam squares just to add a little bit of dimension. And then I come in with my pens again and add little dots and little details around my flowers. I wanted to add a little more color to the centers just to make them really pop. I'm going to add a little bit more green to the center of this flower. The paint dries really fast, so you don't have to wait very long at all to layer on your colors. I'm going to add little teal dots to my pink center here. I think I could really go overboard with these pencils and just keep adding dots and details. They're just fun to play with. <laughs> these pens look bold and bright on your white cardstock too. And then in a minute here, I'm going to show you how beautiful they look on your black cardstock. I like adding little dots around the flowers. It adds an airiness that kind of breaks up the flowers. And it also adds just a lot of fun interest to the card. So here is a close-up. I also added a few enamel dots that matched the colors of the paint. I really had fun putting that card together. For my second card, I went ahead and cut out a piece of black cardstock. I used the Spellbinders Hemstitched die again. And I'm going to use a sentiment from another Jane Davenport stamp set. This is called Elephant Dream. And the sentiment just says, dream big. I'm using my anti-static powder first. And this time I'm going to heat emboss it with white embossing powder. So I'm using some clear embossing ink. And then I can pour on my white embossing powder and tap off the excess. And then I can just slowly melt the powder. I'm going to do a bit of freehand drawing on this card. I'm just using a white charcoal pencil just to lightly sketch it out. I'll be going over the lines with the pen so you won't see this. But I just wanted to sit down and doodle on this panel. These pens are really fun. And now I can go in and add the color and just look how pretty they are on the black cardstock. If you're a doodler or just like adding cute little details to your cards, these pens are perfect for that. You just have to remember to shake them up every time before you use them. And make sure to keep the caps on. Don't walk away for a while and leave the caps off because the nibs will dry out. I put a piece of white paper behind this black panel just so you can see it better. The black cardstock's kind of hard to see on my black mat. I'm even going to add some little detail work around the sentiment. And I just kept going in with more details. When I show you my finished card here in just a minute, you'll see a lot more detail even that I'm drawing in here. But I really had fun with these pens. I enjoyed them. I'm going to attach this panel now to a piece of pink cardstock. The pink really matches the Queen of Hearts color. And then I'm just going to use a white card base. I thought about adding sequins or something on this panel, but I thought it was busy enough, so I just left it as is. And here is the finished card. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye!